Hi friends. Mai's driving. Oh, it's a nice oh. and sunny day. Hey Herky and Milton. Look guys, Herky has her pink boots on. So, what are we doing today? Today we are going to Pottery Barn Kids to shop for a nursery chair. Because if you're seeing this video, it's probably gonna be us furnishing the whole baby room. And where we're going shopping, it's dog friendly, so her and Milton can come with us. Okay, so first off, applauds for Pottery Barn Kids for allowing Herky and Milton into the store. They're puppy friendly. So that's super fun. Cause now Herky and Milton can go shop for stuff for their little brother or sister. Hey, maybe by the time that this video goes up, we're gonna know the sex already. Let's have people guess first. In the comment section below, guys, is Herky and Milton having a little brother or a little sister? I'm 100%, no, okay. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that they're getting a little brother. I'm gonna guess because everybody around me thinks it's a boy. I'm gonna guess that it's a little sister for her kid Milton Because all your life you're just bound to be surrounded by girls by the way You have girl dogs. It's always just you and the girls. So I'm gonna guess it's gonna go continue like that with the girls I would be super happy with a little girl. No problem I just have a feeling it's a boy and I pre even prefer to have a girl than a boy but I just have a feeling that I'm gonna have a boy. Herky, do you want to have a little brother or a little sister? Herky says that she already has a little sister and she's not a big fan of it. <laughs> Milton, do you want a little brother or a little sister? Milton says that she wants to be the baby and she's not accepting anything. <laughs> so this, um, Romeo's mom works with us. Romeo brought his human sister into the warehouse. His human sister crawls so fast now and she ke she kept crawling towards Milton and she's so used to dogs that she puts her face into Milton's face and Milton licks her. But when she crawls really fast towards Milton, Milton growls at her. It's kind of funny. Raised by the dogs. Raised by the dogs. It really shows when a kid grows up in a household with dogs. Yeah. Like, she just loves playing with dogs. Remember Lana? She cries when Herky licked her. Mm -hmm. Whereas this baby, Romeo's little sister, wants kisses from the dog in her face. <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna this is gonna transition me into a, a, my whole. So guys, we're like we're super excited. I'm super excited to see what Maya's gonna be coming out with. There's gonna be a lot of content that are n now going to be both puppies and babies related interrelated the relationship between puppies and babies do any of you have newborns and cavaliers that live in the same household or do you have a newborn and then you brought a puppy into the household how do the two get along together do you have any tips or suggestions on how you can introduce a baby to a puppy and vice versa a puppy to a baby how do they get along i know a lot of our friends have cavaliers before they have had their babies and the babies now just take all the food throw it on the floor and all the cavaliers get super chunky <laughs> <laughs> like that's a known fact that's gonna happen it's such a known fact all the cavaliers are now that live with toddlers are now much chunkier and it's a it's a thing i mean toddlers will just eat and they throw things on the floor so maybe when it's baby's meal time we're gonna have to uh separate the pups and the baby, but who knows? We'll Milton's butt was already getting chunky, so for I sure know. she's only getting chunky. Okay, so we're just pulling up to the Quartier de Trente for Pottery Barn Kids. So we'll start filming again in the store. This is why boots are necessary. Look at this parking lot. If you haven't seen our video, check out the video where we do a hack of these balloon boots. Like All right, Pottery Barn, Pottery Barn Kids. Let's go. My entire life, I never thought I would be going to Pottery Barn Kids ever.
the point today is to find a rocking or swivel chair that I enjoy because we have dogs and so the traditional swivels might be a bit dangerous for the paws and the tails because they always lie where we lie. So I think this is one of the wider. Did you know that you match everything in the store? The store is my vibe! Everything's so pretty! Everything is cream and pink. Like, that chair is your shirt. <laughs> little girls have the best rooms. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh my god, look at the little stairs here. Go up the little stairs and you sleep there. The room I never had. Which double bed do you like? Do you like this one or the other one over there? I like them all. <laughs> the eggs. So cute. Froyo afternoon, look at the beautiful sun. Oh my god, Herky, you so lucky. Oh my god, Milton. You're so lucky. <laughs> Good morning. This is day two of shopping for the nursery. It's a few weeks later and in the meantime, we did find out the sex. So the gender. I don't know if it's the gender or the sex. Um, so we will be shopping today for blinds and curtains. Curtains and blinds for the baby room, for Shrimpy's room. Is that his new name? Is, is it Shrimpy? We've been nicknaming him Shrimpy, so that's what sort of stuck. Shrimpy. Herky Milton and Shrimpy? Yes, that's his little nickname. Poor boy. So uh, right now we are going to a um, blind store specifically to get blackout blinds for the baby room. Alright, let's go shop. We currently have some Hunter Douglas, but I also have been told Altex is good, so we're probably going to go for something of these two. Exciting. It's a two in one. Like this and then this one. That's brilliant. Just because it's a simple blind, and when you go like this, the light can go through everywhere, and then like this, it can pretty much black out. So our babies have their boots on, and we're gonna take them to the pet shop for some treat shopping. All right, let's go, girls. You guys ready? All right, Herky Milton, you can each choose one treat, okay? One treat, whoa! Okay, this is down. Herky is very intrigued by everything. Uh-huh. Herky, what treat do you want? Oh, oh, I think oh, Milton oh. wants stuff. And Herky wants beef. Oh, I think she wants this one. <laughs> you really have no more treats. Look. Guys, I've always wanted to have an Instagram account where it's a Herky Milton and a bunny. Look at how cute he is. Oh, Herky Milton saw these. They want a mouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, Which one are you getting? Herky chose the beef. I can't see it. Turkey has beef liver. And let's get what Milton. Milton has duck. All right, let's go. 
Sit, sit, oh, sit. girl, you're so lucky. Sit, sit, sit. Oh my god, big beef. You know how people have RVs? How can Milton have this now? They have their food, their water, their beef. Herky, is that good beef? Good beef. You still look like a puppy, Herky. <laughs> Do you like beef or duck more? Let's play a game. Let's put both on your hand and see which one they go for first. Game on. Game on. Herky? Oh. oh, duck and then beef. <laughs> Herky's answer to that was yes. Sit in. Oh, duck. I knew Milton's gonna go for duck first. Well, Herky too. Milton sniffed it. Herky just ate. All right. Girls, is that good? Is that fun? Okay. What's the next stop? Next stop, Ikea. We're gonna go look at the cribs, uh, maybe some couches for our living room, and just some accessories in general. Let's go. We're looking for a, a wet bar for babies. Somewhere we prepare their milk in that machine. You know something about this high, this wide. Point specific. Oh. So baby crib, there's this option, which is Sundvik. It's the newest one and people don't like it because all the warning and avertissement are written right on the side there. The most popular models are this one and this one. Very simple, very cheap. Sniglar in the natural and in the white. But you don't like it because it's all bars here. You don't it looks like, like a cage. It looks like a dog cage. Mm -hmm. I think I like that one the most. It has a bit more finishing. Okay. All right. So our other option is this one. It has a bit more rounded definitions at the bottom it's more rounded this is smogora so we're gonna note can you write smogora all right let's choose a mattress for baby i want the most expensive one so this is the cheapest one 39 dollars very soft this is very firm 59 crumbler and you have sconest and the most expensive, the Jatot Hot, 129. Are you, Are you gonna? General consensus: Does a baby have to have thick foam or thin foam? All right, we're going for this one because this one seems too mushy. So we're going for a bit of firmness. Do we need to buy this too? Maybe. Let's just get it all. All right, so we are in aisle six, looking for the bed, and I think we're going for the Sun Sunvik, the newest model one in white. So it was not in aisle six. We are going to aisle thirty now, which is where all the other baby stuff is, which makes a lot more sense. So maybe we can see the two cribs side by side, see which one we can get, and then the mattress is going to be right there too. Uh, 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 uh. 25, 26, 27, 27. That's all we need is here. Is this the bed? Oh, our mattress is no more. So I guess we have to buy the other mattress. The one that was right below it. Was the 59 one? Yeah. All right, so the other one's out of stock, so we're getting this one. This is big. This could sleep like a three year old. I know, you can, we can sleep on it. Wow. So there's either Sunvik, oh no, Sunvik white, oh cool, or Smogora white. Sunwick. Sunwick. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so we wanted to go for a better one, but they didn't have it, so this is what you're getting, shrimpy. Oh, change of plans. Guys, funny life hack. <laughs> Go check the section where the things are returned first. Literally this bed. It's in perfect shape. There's a few of them too. All pre-made mounted already. And you know, we don't mount stuff. 
I wouldn't say perfect. The minor little detail is this. Like there's little scratches there. But you're like saving time. It's more for time because this is 25 bucks less, but it's already mounted. Okay, let's go. All I gotta say is thank God we came with the Suburban. Oh no, we have to go all the way around? Yep. Oh crap. Let's go, lead the way. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, look at that. I wouldn't say easy peasy, it's a perfect tight fit. But it just slid in perfectly. And yeah. it, not even all the seats are down, so if you want to shop baby cribs, get a Suburban. <laughs> okay, a little Ikea tradition. Hot dogs, but these are vegan. Vegan strawberry frozen treat. Guys, this girl is a next level of princess. Look at her. And a huge bed. Whereas Herky just like on nothing. Oh, hi Milton. Princess. Hi princess. Peasant. Princess. Peasant. Poor Turkey. Oh, poor Turkey. Pretty happy with your day? Yeah, it was a very productive day and I was very happy to know that our blinds will be there in about two, three weeks maximum. I was expecting something like six to eight weeks. I don't know why. I think our Hunter Douglas shades took forever. Forever. I don't know why. Plus it was like not even COVID or anything, so I don't know. But yes, it was a very good day. We're gonna show you the last step when all of this is gonna be brought upstairs and we're gonna close the day there. And then I'm gonna put Herky and Milton into that crib. Oh! <laughs> what did you say? It's so big. All right, crib is in. Yeah, but we still need some help to do what? Tell us. We need to bring this level, this thing, up to like about here. Yeah, and, and we can't figure it out. We're completely useless with, with handy, handy, handy stuff. All right, so our handyman's gonna come next time to arrange that, but crib is in. Next step is for us to move our warehouse, so all that is gonna go to warehouse. Our chair that you saw is probably gonna go here, the dresser here, or vice versa, and then that's it. I wonder Carpet. if the crib's gonna go there. Yeah, maybe. So after that it doesn't block this. Entry. Exactly. After all, the crib might go there in the end, and the dresser over here with the diaper change. So we'll see. Good shopping day. Hi, girls. Hello. So today is... 21st. Today is April 25th, and surprise, surprise, the nursery chair got in so much faster than we expected. You guys remember when we were at the store, they said, six to eight weeks and in four less than four weeks the chair was here so uh, we moved a few things around the desk is now here <laughs> welcome to parenthood already oh man your place will look like crap so the nursery chair is in we also got the crib that you guys saw and then on in my studio downstairs at the other unit I had a really nice dresser that was barely being used. So we thought we would bring it up for the baby's room. So come and see what it looks like right now. This is the progress. It's Shrimpy's room. Shrimpy's room. So here is the dresser. He has a nickname. Shrimpy is 17 weeks tomorrow, actually. Wow. Oh, we can switch it up tomorrow. It changes so fast. Yeah. Hello, Shrimpy. And this is the crib you guys know this one with the mattress the mattress cover is on we decided to put it on here on this wall so that the focal point of the room can be this bad boy come here are you gonna link each item yes so this is the dream swivel from pottery barn kids and oh my gosh it is what dreams are made of for real it glides so that it's safer for us that has dogs you won't be scared of rolling onto paws or tails because this one is a glider so you can glide like this but wait oh <sighs> it's amazing this chair guys is amazing it's so comfy and you can back it up like a lot too like you can be fully laid down laid back and it's really made for you to be able to take naps here and it's big enough for Milton to lie beside me Milton likes it hey Milton you like it everything's yours Oh, well, she's right at home with this chair already. Yeah, I really love how it's dog proof. Yep. You cannot injure your dog with this. And it, you could literally sleep like hours in that chair. 
It's so comfy, like it's very cushiony. Try to go back the max you can. Hi, Ricky. <laughs> Ricky's very sus. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Ricky. So, what's still missing in this room? Uh, a rug. We're gonna put some decorative touches. Um, there's no clothes, there's nothing. So, maybe a bit of decorative touches, but the three biggest items are in. Rug and oh blinds. Oh my god, I know, I know. Yo, what do you think of this? We should make a neon sign that says Shrimpy. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think that light is good for him. Shrimpy! It can be like a soft, a soft light that says shrimpy right here above, above the crib. What do you think? I prefer a, a sign on the door. That says shrimpy? Yes. Shrimpy. So that's the update for now. Everything's coming along faster than we thought because Andy loves to get stuff done very quickly. I started up and my gets obsessed. That's why we went to bring this from the Kavology No, it was your idea. Office. It was your idea. It was my idea, but we got we went to get this from the Kavology office and brought it up here. And look at how there's still Herky and Milton stuff in there. So well oh, arranged. Oh and Herky and Milton stuff. Herky and Milton, Shrimpy, you're gonna have to share your space with them because they came first. <laughs> yes. Cavaliers number one. Shrimpy number two. <laughs> That's right. Milton, you're always number one, okay? You gotta recognize. Hey, Milton? Mm -hmm. You better recognize. So, this is the 16 week. Tomorrow, 17 weeks, so. Whoa. 16 week tummy. This week, I officially changed to maternity pants because everything was just getting a bit too tight. Like, Shrimpy is getting big. Like, I can still fit in my other clothes, but it's just not as. Uh, like, I can't just everything so yeah it's coming along so if you guys are wondering what that is it's you're a gonna massage it's, oh, can I say it? you're gonna see in the next shot I'm gonna set up a massage spa room for my because she gets a lot of migraines and yeah. I she's gonna need some massages I have migraines I have neck pain so daddy has to start massaging me and we're until Shrimpy's here we might just keep the massage table up all right Shrimpy dad's log while Herky and Milton are getting a shower, I have switched out the office lights for a soft white light. Soft white halogen light. I think these are LED. We got them on Amazon. Yeah, they're LED, so they'll last longer than the halogen. And let's see what's the feel now. The goal is to have this as a much cozier feel. Hello, focus. Okay, so as I was saying, we want a cozier, warmer feel. Let's see. Whoa. Much more golden. And some of the bulbs are pointed towards this changing station. Some towards the feeding chair. Some towards the clothing area. I think it's much nicer to the eye. Still gotta rearrange the uh, the lights a bit, but yep, yep, yep. This is starting to get to come together. And now what we're gonna do? We have this super nice white leather massage table that we got from Amazon. Um, I'm sure Mai is gonna put the link below. And we're gonna set up the massage table here for now. And for the next few months, this is gonna be our in-house spa because apparently pregnant ladies get a lot of massive headaches, like like really intense headaches. So we're gonna make a little area here. We're gonna put, set up some towels now. We're gonna put some scented candles or I don't know what, but to make it smell good, and I'm gonna set up this thing that comes in a fully packed bag. All right, let's try to set this up.
Maya's gonna enjoy that swearing. Hopefully she puts this in speed mode and blurries out my swearing. It sets up like this. Master massage. It's really solid when you're on it. I think you could go 300 pounds on there. And then the feet is like this. So for all the massage enthusiasts, I think this thing here is the best part about a massage table or going to the massage therapist. Well, you have your head in here. It feels so good. And this table comes with that. So it's a thing like this that you insert into the massage table head up here. And then you lock it in. Oh, locked in tight. And it has Velcro on this side for you to put here. And there you go, voila. You have a nice massage table. And it saves you hundreds of dollars of going to the therapist each time. All right, and as the finishing touch, if you go to the spa, you know that you need this little thing. So we got a light, nice little tray in the house. Got some rolled up towels and some massage oil to take care of the future mom. So for now, this is gonna be the spa room and the diffuser, which is the word that was eluding me, is downstairs, so we can't use that yet. But you see here, Mai's already ready for her therapy session. Give me her head massage and her neck massage. Yes, ma'am. You take, I take credit card. All right, guys, that's the update for today until this comes in. Oh yeah, the, the blinds. blinds. We that's have amazing. custom blinds and yeah, we vlog that day. A rug. That's all. And then Shrimpy's room slash my spa room is gonna be ready. Say bye to your friends. Oh, bye bye. I'm tired. Milton, did you just get a shower? Look how cute she is. Milton, come here. Come here, Milton. Oh, you're all clean. You wanna go out with mom? Oh yeah. Every time I'm on the massage table, she wants to come up with me, but Andy said no. Mm. Bye guys. Bye. So this is the state of the nursery to this date. We found a carpet which was actually in my office downstairs. I brought it up here. It's a ruggable so it's machine washable. There's two layers to this carpet and you can just take one layer off and put it in the wash which makes it very convenient. And of course, this will not be here anymore. It's a massage table. But we've started receiving some gifts here and there that I haven't put away yet. But as you can see, that's our diaper bag. This is getting filled with some things. I can go over the drawers too. But um, you've seen this, of course. You see some workout things too, because I've been starting to use this room as a workout because it's very chill and cozy and not warm in here. So I really like that. But um, yeah, we received a play gym as a gift. We have these little weighted, uh, weighted elephants. They're bookends actually, but they look like plushies. And yeah, that's for a mobile. I don't know if we're gonna put it up, but that's the state of it now. And of course, yeah, all this unit is just storage. So it's gonna be very useful. So that's gonna be the nursery video for now. We're of course gonna keep this going, but um, until it's final final, I guess uh, this is gonna be it. I feel like we're pretty much almost ready. The big pieces are here. So hope you enjoyed this. The little things that are gonna come are probably like the changing table, changing pad, um, maybe some decor pieces here and there. 
we're gonna add those little shelves on the wall for decoration and little hangers and little cute things but that's gonna be it for now hope you guys enjoyed it let us know what you would like to see next as part of the baby things but i think next would probably be like stroller shopping and whatnot so stay tuned for that we love you guys and we'll see you soon bye